Hi, it's Roxanne and Len. We are a Canadian couple who have been traveling through Mexico for the past month. And today we're excited to be able to go to the Monarch Butterfly Sanctuary in Mexico. And we are excited to bring you along with us. Hey everybody, it's Len and Roxanne just checking in for this video. We are um, at the Monarch Butterfly Biosphere uh, Sanctuary. Uh, we've come part of the way up the trail. We've walked about 20 minutes up. We're just in front of one of the sanctuary signs. Um, we've got probably another 25 minutes of walking till we're at the top. <laughs> um, beautiful day, nice and cool. We're walking through some beautiful forest here. I'm gonna flip the cam or I'm gonna flip the camera so you can see the sign and some of the scenery here. Here's one of our, uh, our greeting signs <laughs> to keep us along the trail. And you can see to the left there, there's a lookout viewpoint. We're going to look at that on the way back down instead of on the way up. And to our right is the sanctuary. And this is just some of the scenery. You can see way back in the distance there, there's people riding horses. Uh, you can actually rent a horse uh, and, a, and a guide to go with you to take you up to save you the, uh, the stress of the walk up. We decided not to do a horse. We thought we'll do it on our feet. So we'll check in with you a little later. Hey everybody, here we are walking up towards the, uh, the top. Beautiful trail. Down on the left here is the horse trail. We're up on the pedestrian footpath trail. I'm gonna flip the camera so you can see the scenery behind us and you can hear me puffing because uh, this is a it's a good workout but beautiful scenery incredible as you can see there's lots of people here to see butterflies today from what I understand, the best time is the early afternoon to see them because uh, earlier in the day they're uh, resting and sleeping. Check in with you later. Here's a little more of the trail to the top. Roxanne's taking a rest break. And I got a beautiful view out here, the valley. You can probably see very small, dark things. There's, there's some of the monarchs flying there. Maybe I'll get lucky and one will come close here. Going up a little further to Roxanne, up the trail. Oh, even better view. Here's the view I'm looking at. There's a nice sized flock there. We're in luck. They're coming in in a big flock. 
make my way down, hopefully without falling. And see up. I'm going to turn the camera off while I climb these rocks. Hey everybody, we're at the top of the viewpoint, which is a, a very large rock outcrop that gives you a beautiful view vantage of everything. I'm going to flip the camera. I've got it zoomed as much as possible, but we're surrounded by, I would say, probably thousands of butterflies. Here we go, folks. I zoomed the camera as best as I can. There's thousands of butterflies flying around us. I'm just gonna pan and let you see as much as I can. They're flying within five or six feet of us. I wish this video could show how beautiful this all is. You just you can't imagine how many butterflies are just flying around here. It truly is a magical place. And look at those views. I'd migrate here too.
everybody. We're at the top um, on the lookout, which is a of the monarch butterfly <laughs> thing, which is a large rock outcropping, which gives you a beautiful view. It gets you above the tree line and an awesome vantage point to look at the monarch butterflies flying around. There's probably, there's thousands of them. Um, they're not showing up very good in our, in our video. We zoomed it as best as we could, but um, looking back behind us, there's a bit of a valley, but when you look deep down into it, there's just literally thousands. So, um, but they're just so tiny. They're not showing up in their photos very well. Hey everybody. We're <coughs> wrapping up our day here at the Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Sanctuary. Um, it's late afternoon now. Um, we um, drove here this morning. It was about a three hour drive to get here. And we got here, I'm thinking it was about one o'clock or so. We had hoped to get here earlier, but um, we got here about one o'clock. And when we arrived, um, because it is a sanctuary uh, reserve, uh, our first cost was 70 pesos for us to get our vehicle into the reserve. And then uh, after we came and parked in our spot to actually come into the, uh, the reserve, uh, it was 80 pesos for an adult. So we paid 160 pesos for the two of us to come in. And that ticket would have included, if it had been open, the cultural center, which um, would be like a little uh, displays and information <coughs> about the monarch butterfly and their life cycle and migration and, and all that. But that was not open today, so we didn't get to see that. So after we had our tickets, uh, then we uh, went in a little bit further where there were guides that were willing to hire themselves to walk you up to the lookout point. And um, we had thought we were going to end up hiring a guide, but we found out that because we thought we could get some interpretation about the butterflies and life cycle and conservation efforts, but none of the guides spoke English, so the only other service they would have provided is leading us to the lookout, which is a self-guided trail, so we decided not to do a guide. We had understood that we had no opportunity to say no. We, it was a requirement that you needed to have a guide, so we were a bit surprised when they said, no, to go, we can go on our own. Uh, so that caught us a bit off guard, because we were prepared just to pay the guide, but they said no. We didn't need to, to do it. Everybody else, I think we were the only ones that didn't have a guide. So I'm not sure what we missed out. We followed the trail like everybody else, but didn't have a guide. So, Well, if we had <coughs> been spoke Spanish, we could have probably gotten a lot of really good information about monarch butterflies. And yeah, some, some of the guides seemed to be speaking a lot more with their people that they were guiding and giving them some information, and other guides didn't speak at all. They just would sort of point to where to go and there was no communication. So it was sort of, I think, a hit and miss of, of who you got as a guide, but we didn't have a guide and we did just fine. Yeah. Our walk the, up to the butterflies was about, what, 45, 40 minutes? Yeah. About 40 minutes and then a little bit less down. Yeah. Of course, it's, it was quicker coming down and... Uh, the only, and the other thing we didn't do, they we were offered to rent a horse oh yeah the horses to ride up and down it was 300 pesos for a return trip um so if you wanted to just ride it up it was 150 it would be 150 but we decided not to do that and we're glad we did because basically the horses only take you about halfway up yeah and they can't go past that so it really wouldn't have saved us a lot of of uh walking and we wouldn't have Walking, we're glad we walked because we could go at our own pace. And yeah. we took time to take pictures and just admire the beauty of the forest. And there's a, a really nice lookout uh, referred to as a mirador 
that we stopped and had a look and took some pictures, beautiful views of the valley and the mountain. That's about halfway up, or two-thirds of the way up, the lookout. And then we continued on from there uh, up to the very top, which came upon us. Very, we didn't expect to come upon it that quickly. We thought it was a rest stop, but it turned out to be the actual top. And there was quite a few people uh, when we arrived at the top there. Um, so we took our time and waited till the kind of crowd dispersed. Um, yeah, you can only have a few people on the rock structure at a time. It they were kind the guides were kind of monitoring that a little bit. Uh, so they would take one group at a time onto it. It's not a very big space and. It could be dangerous if you've got too many people up there. So. Yeah, and people start doing <coughs> silly things like stretching over the railing, taking selfies, and, you know. But um, so we waited it out because we weren't in any rush, and we're glad we did because once the crowd disappeared, um, the butterflies came flocking in. Um, I don't think it's a flock. Is well, it a flock? I don't know what you. Refer I don't know, to, but. Once it was quiet and we were the only people there, um, we got a numerous waves of butterflies coming through. And we tried to video as best as we could with our pocket camera and our cell phones. I don't know how well that's going to show up, but it was... There was so many butterflies. It was... It was amazing. Amazing and definitely a bucket list thing for us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well worth our trip. Yeah, we're so like, happy. It it was just, it truly was awe inspiring. It was just an amazing thing to see. Now we didn't. We came in later in the day. In the morning, if we would have come, the butterflies would have still been sort of chilling on the trees and stuff. <clears throat> and as the day got warmer, that's when the the butterflies got more active, and that's when we came. So we didn't see any butterflies on the trees. We saw them leaving the trees. But we did you know, you see that massive amount of butterflies on the trees. We didn't see that. We just saw thousands and thousands of butterflies zipping by us, fluttering just all over the place. It was it was so cool to yeah. see. So and cool. At one point I was thinking, Well, we've been here long enough and I looked down and I thought, Oh, oh I'm gonna stay longer and watch this. This is yeah. one we're not coming back again. This is a once in a lifetime I'm to a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Um, we only get to see this once. And and it was truly, it so, was so inexpensive, really. Yeah. Like, it was so inexpensive and so neat to see and do. Yeah. So I'm glad, I'm glad we walked it and we didn't take the horse. And I'm glad that we came out of our, a little bit out of our way to do it. So it was yeah. worth it. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, but I think on that note, we're probably I, wrapping up, are we? Yeah, I would say if you are in Mexico and in your, you're anywhere close to it, it yeah, is... Yeah, plan a trip. Plan a trip. Plan a trip. It's, it was almost, well, it was, it was very peaceful, actually. Mm -hmm. There weren't like, very many people here. Um, I expected way more yeah. people. And we specifically came on a weekday to avoid... Yeah the weekend rush, which from what we understand, looking at the busy times, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, we're, are, yeah, are and we're, busy. we're here on a Thursday, and it's not very busy, and yeah. it was nice just to have, the, at, at, at a number of points, we had the site like literally to ourselves. To ourselves, yeah. We could just sit there and watch, and the cool mountain breeze, Yeah. you could hear birds chirping, just watching these incredible, delicate creatures, miracle of nature that fly. All the way from Canada. All the way from Canada to Mexico. Like. Amazing. Uh, fly as far or farther than any airliner and they navigate their way. Um, just an amazing sight. So if you're coming to Mexico, plan a trip here. But I think on that note, we're gonna wrap up because we have to find food and a place to combination. spend the night because <laughs> we don't know where we're spending the night. And another note, <laughs> if, if you are traveling here, um, for some reason, this site, you have no internet. 
So yeah, there's no internet. If, if you come here and you're counting on the internet, make sure you figure out everything you need to before you're actually here, because you won't have any internet. So on that note, see you guys. Catch you on the next one. Okay. Bye. Bye.